Although hunting dealt a serious blow to the wildlife of the Ganges, the habitat destruction under British rule took a far heavier toll. Elephants were put to work, plundering the very forests from which they'd been captured. But while the wilderness was disappearing, India was hurtling towards the industrial age. Timber was in huge demand, especially for the expanding railway network. During the 1870s, one million sleepers were required every year for the new lines springing up across northern India. By the time the British left, halfway through the 20th century, almost all the forests of the plains had disappeared, and the elephants living within them were left homeless. Today, as machinery is increasingly used for heavy labor, even working elephants are being made redundant. But there's still one place along the Ganges where these powerful beasts of burden are traded in large numbers. The Sonpur Mela is the largest cattle fair in Asia. It started over a thousand years ago and it has been growing ever since. On the first full moon in November, people arrive from all over northern India to haggle over livestock. The sheer quantity of domestic animals affirms their status as the dominant creatures of the plains. <coughs> Sonpur's lively horse market provides endless entertainment for the festival crowds. but it's the elephants that are by far the biggest attraction. Each morning, the mahouts lead their elephants down to the river to be washed alongside thousands of worshippers, creating one of the most timeless scenes of India. The intimate relationship between elephant and man has endured for millennia, and these animals are still highly prized. In good condition, elephants are sold for as much as 10,000 pounds, so it pays to look after them well. Life for captive elephants can be far easier than it is for the remaining wild herds of the plains. <laughs> 